Leon, this has been a week, huh? I mean, emotionally, mentally, what have these interactions with Colby Covington been like for you? Um, I've been doing okay until yesterday, you know, when, when, when he um, crossed the line. I feel like I was entertainment, fighting is fine and entertainment is entertainment, you know, but you never bring um, the dead into entertainment, you know, and that's what he did. And, but it is what it is. I think it shows the type of man that he is, and tomorrow night I get, I get to settle it, you know, and that's all that matters. Have you had experiences like this before with opponents where they are trying to emotionally wreck you before they face you physically? Um, it's not emotionally wrecking me. I think it's more motivation, you know, like, um, I, I, I don't see how, how, how it wrecks me, you know, I, I am, when it's time to compete, I am cold in there and I listen to my coaches and I'm, I'm a smart fighter anyway. I know that you want to come out there and swing and get into a scrap with him, but I, I am a smart fighter. It made me more determined, you know, and made me more, um, want to be more aggressive, but apart from that, I'll, I'll set my game plan and, and do it. Let's talk about the fight with Colby. You had two back-to-back -back camps for Kamaru Usman. How much did those help prepare you for then what you may face against Colby Covington? Um, I think that helps, you know, you can't, they're both similar as far as like boxing wrestling kind of base. Um, obviously, Cole probably like a bit more pressure, but um, I think it definitely helped having to improve, find like one of the best, of, like some consider one of the best of all time in Usman, you know. So um, I think it definitely helped me in this fight, and I think it, it will show the different levels between me and Kobe um, from his, his past opponents to me, you know, and I think that's going to be the difference. How do you prepare for the pressure and the pace? We know if he has one weapon, it is to be able to continue to just search for the takedown, search for the takedown. How do you how do you prepare yourself for that in the gym during training camp? I'm just having a solid training camp. You know, like I said, you can't you, you can't just like, be scrappy and walk on. You walk on the shots all day. You know, if you like that with me, you walk on shots all day. And um, even if you go for the takedowns, you duck head first and everything. It's, it's too it's too scrappy. You know, and um, I feel like I'm, I'm way too clean of a, of, a, of a striker as a mixed martial artist. My techniques, my grappling, my inside fighting. Um, so I feel like that's, that would be the, the, the difference between his last opponent, Masada, <laughs> and my last opponent, Usman. You know, so uh, I think tomorrow night we get, we get to see, show that. What does what does your striking do for you in this fight with someone who wants to wrestle as much as Colby probably does? Um, he, like I said, but he's like a scrappy. He uses scrappy hands to get, to get under you, right? I feel like his his entry is is, is, is what's going to fail him. You know, is 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 out and ins and how he gets in. What, what my striking is going to add up for, you know? So um, yeah, I feel like I'm striking. Like I said, it's, it's too clean for him. It's too precise. Uh, my grappling, I'll be too, I'll be way too big and strong for him, you know. And I feel like that that'd be the difference in there. Well, we cannot wait for this one, Leon. We appreciate, as always, your insight and your honesty. Thank you so much. Good luck. Have fun out there. Thanks. Thanks.